Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I want to take this opportunity to wish you a Merry Christmas. And yeah, I know we are around Easter and I haven't gone off the rails, but for those of you that are either too lazy, don't want to or don't know how to create a valuation for a company, Christmas has come early because ARK Invest have published their 2026 price target and the valuation that goes with that price prediction. If this isn't the first time you've seen this type of a paper from ARK Invest, especially regarding a valuation for a company, then you are already accustomed to their format. They provide a best case, a worst case and an expected value. As we can see in the table, their base case or the expected value is $4,600 and they give this a 50% probability to happen by 2026 based on their Monte Carlo analysis. Their worst case or bear case scenario is $2,900 and they have a 25% probability of that and their bull case or best case scenario is $5,800 with a 25% probability. If you want to take one thing out of this, they predict a 3x from where Tesla is now, in the worst case possible, but more important than that, there's a 75% chance, according to their model, that Tesla will 5x from now in just a couple of years. Again, don't forget, this is a 2026 valuation. That's four years from now. Taking a look at ARK Invest's analysis, Tesla's prospective robotaxi business line is the key driver contributing 60% of the expected value and more than half of the expected EBITDA in 2026. They expect the electric vehicles to constitute 55% of the company's revenue, albeit at a substantially lower margins than robotaxi revenue. So let's go through them one by one. When it comes to revenue, they expect that 57% of the revenue will come from electric vehicles. 34% will come from robotaxis, 5% will come from human-driven ride-hailing and around 3% will come from insurance. Looking at earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization, the major growth here will come from robo-taxis, 34% will come from EVs and the last 12% will come from human-driven ride-hailing and insurance. Overall, taking a look at the market cap, 62% will come from the robo-taxi growth, 27 from EVs and the last 12% from others on this list. If we compare this model with the one that was published in 2021 that had 2025 as the end date, they've gone from $3,000 per share in 2025 to $4,600 based on their assumptions that autonomous rate hailing is happening. Of course, the fuel for this have been Elon Musk's comments at Gigafactory Texas and on Twitter that FSD is closer than ever and the fact that uh, a dedicated robo-taxi will be coming out of Texas. Following in the last year how Tesla managed to grow their capital efficiency and of course the fact that we added one more year to what it was presented in 2021. When we take a look at what goes into the model, autonomous driving is the key component. Their model includes updated assumptions for the total market for autonomous right hail at each price point, as well as the probability that Tesla will solve fully autonomous driving. The research suggests that travelers in Western markets place a value on their work-related travel miles close to their hourly wage and value their non-work-related travel miles at close to half their hourly wage. In low-income countries and at 50 cents per mile, they assume another long tail of demand price similar to today's ride-hail option. Taken together, ARC estimates the total addressable market for autonomous ride-hailing at roughly 11-12 trillion as shown below. In other words, ARK Invest is saying that if the price of right hailing is around $1 or just above, there is a $1 trillion market available to Tesla. If the price goes around 60 cents per mile, then that market grows to around $5 trillion. If the price goes even lower at around 50 cents, basically a whole new world opens and there's an extra 2.75 trillion dollars on top of whatever was before and if it goes at 25 cents per mile well the floodgates open and basically we reach that 11 12 trillion dollars altogether 
Continuing, they say that we also have updated our RoboTaxi's business feeds into the model. Reflecting our increased conviction in Tesla's ability to achieve full self-driving, the question is when. Whereas our previous downside case assumed that Tesla would never launch autonomous ride hailing, our updated downside case assumes a launch in 2026, four years later than Elon Musk expects. The midpoint of their assumptions, as shown in the chart below, suggests that Tesla will commercialize autonomous ride hailing in 2024. In 9% of their cases, however, Tesla does not commercialize robotaxis within our 5-year window. Even in cases where robotaxis are commercialized within the forecast window, their model financial results for Tesla are highly sensitive to the year of the launch. Looking at other simulations, their bet is that Tesla will launch robotaxis either in 2024 or 2025. Adding these two together basically means that there's a 50% chance that Tesla will launch their service in the next 4 years. Their updated model model also increases Tesla's capital efficiency because since 2017 Tesla's capital expenditure per increment unit of capacity has improved from approximately $84,000 when Model 3 was ramping to around $7,700 as shown below. In their previous model they estimated that Tesla will spend around six to $8,000 per incremental unit of capacity in 2025. Given its much better than expected capital efficiency they assume that Tesla will spend between $2,000 and 5,000 per increment unit of capacity in 2026. Said differently, as Tesla ramps up their factory, they take advantage of economies of scale. This is a very important point. While these improvements indicate that Tesla could continue to increase margins, the more important takeaway is that capital is no longer a bottleneck, limiting the growth. Instead, Tesla should be able to grow as quickly as management bandwidth and supply constraints will allow. Here we have a very nifty tool that takes into account when Tesla will deliver the robo taxis and how much the annual production will increase. Tesla has said that they plan to increase production by 50% for many years to come. It is my opinion that they are sandbagging this to hell and back. Assuming a 70% increase in annual production and taking into account this distribution, the expected share price for Tesla is around 4,600. As we've seen in the last year, Tesla is aiming for more than 50% for sure. If we assume that they will double production each year till 2026, then only because of that and the same distribution, the price will rise at 5,800. Of course, as previously stated, this forecast of the share price is highly sensitive to the year in which Tesla launches their robotaxis. If we take a look at the charts below, we can see the likely distribution of all prices. The bear and the bull case have a 25% chance of happening while the expected value goes at 50% as, as earlier stated. Another nifty tool to play with is this interactive graphic that allows us to choose and mix the combination of human ride hell and robot taxis according to our own opinion. In the unlikely situation that Tesla does not deliver on autonomous robotaxis but incorporates the right hailing being a competitor for Uber, then the price share is right about where it is right now, thinking that Tesla will deliver on robotaxis in 2025 or 2026. If we tweak this a little bit and give Tesla a 25% chance to deliver robotaxis in 2024, a 56% chance for them to deliver it in 2025 or 2026, the price share skyrockets at around $4,000. If we were to believe Elon Musk and if we take into account the fact that he has announced that dedicated robotaxi cars will come out of Texas and that this year is an year of volume but next year is a year of amazing new products and we take Elon's word at its value. If they plan on producing robotaxis next year, that means they expect that they will have the software and the possibility to do that. If we assume that there's a 50% chance that Tesla will deliver the robotaxis before the end of next year and the 37% chance they will do that in 2024, this assumption in and of itself will boost the price to 6,000 over their bull case. On top of the main change, which is robotaxis, their assumptions also include insurance that contributes around 2% to their market cap in 2026, Bitcoin that will also impact the valuation and the share price 5%. But what's really important is not what's in the model besides robotaxis, 
is what is not. As stated here, business opportunities not included in the model. Additional business lines and opportunities could be strategically interesting and financially meaningful, but are too uncertain at this time. In their view, they are unlikely to be a significant driver of Tesla's business value over the next five years. I completely disagree. For this reason, we have not reflected the following opportunities in our modeling and they do not impact our price estimate. Tesla's energy business. It is my own opinion that with what's happening now in the world, with governments realizing that depending on fossil fuels, and of course meaning depending on Russia and the Saudis, is not the best way to go forward. Therefore, I think that there will be a revolution in the next four or five years and money will pile in like crazy in companies that offer alternative solutions to fossil fuel. And Tesla is set up to succeed in many ways because they offer battery production, energy storage, both when it comes to home batteries and mega packs, solar, auto builder program, and everything in between, on top of their supercharger network. A as a service, again, it is my opinion that Dojo will come to market soon, probably by the end of next year. And after Tesla finishes using it to train FSD as best as possible, I think by 2023 or 2024 at most, we will see something like an Amazon Web Service provided by Tesla with Dojo. Models like Dojo could command up to 20 trillion enterprise value by 2030. I believe that it will add at least 500 billion to a trillion by 2026. The humanoid robot, yeah, this I can understand why they don't add it to their 2026 model. But if we think about what Elon said at Giga Texas, he expects that a minimum viable product will get off the line somewhat next year. Again, of course, this is Elon time. As we see with the FSD, highly complex and highly ambitious projects can get delayed by a couple of years. In closing, we will take a look at what ARK Invest expects the Tesla price target to be in 2030 and the trajectory. Starting from 4,600 in 2026 with a compound annual growth rate of 46, then 52, then 54, then 52, then 47 percent, they expect that the Tesla stock price will reach upwards of $20,000 per share in 2030. That's a 20x from today's value. Now you understand why I made a video why I'm all in on Tesla, my plan for 2030. With this in mind, I might disagree with some assumptions that ARK Invest have, but I'm glad I disagree on the bull side. It is my opinion that the things that are not in their model will have an impact, some of them a significant impact, the humanoid robot not that much. So if everything goes well and whatever ARK is expecting happens and on top of that what I expect will happen, the bulls of bulls which are ARK Invest will sound like bears in 2026 and that's a good thing and if you follow my chain of thought going forward i think we will be upside of twenty-five thousand dollars per share in 2030 by a lot if you are really interested in my evaluation leave a comment down below and i will do that in a future video with that being said kind regards and see you in the next one